All right, so I caught her, but I haven't haltered her yet. So this is usually how I'll hold them when I go to put the halter on so they can't really get away and they don't get pulled on. Does that feel good? All right. So I'll put it over their nose. Whoops. Hang on. And they all have a reflex, so you don't want to get butted in the head. When they're nursing on their mama, you know, when they feel this up here, they have this reflex to boof their head up when you go to touch on the top. Because um, that's how, you know, they get under their mom and they feel that there and they start hitting it to kind of get the mom to make room and get the milk to come. So putting this halter on kind of hits that spot and that's normal for them to want to twitch their heads up and down. So then from here, I can hold her and I can put my butt rope on. Good girl. And uh, yesterday I showed picking up the feet and stuff, but I also, all of my babies, I like to pick them up. And she's kind of used to this now, but sometimes they'll kind of flail at first. But if you do it from the beginning, they get more and more used to it and they learn to just kind of go limp. So I like to pick them up and carry them around. Oh, I can put them down. Now this next part, you have to be super careful. Um, you don't want it to be a bad experience but something I learned from a book a long time ago in my youth was you know all these things that I showed the butt rope tapping the feet picking them up um, but also laying them down so depending on the baby sometimes I'll start that with picking one leg up and then just kind of holding them wait and you can also pick up the other one but sometimes no we might need to grab both says I don't want it. Sometimes I'll grab both here and put them on my leg and then gently bring them down and then lay them down. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. And then if they try to struggle, you know, you just hold them. You just carefully, you can, if you just put pressure right here, they can't really get up. But from here, you can lay them down and touch them all over. And sometimes they might try to flail up and down a little bit, but uh, you just want to be super gentle, making sure that they never just slam down on the ground, that you just get control of the one leg or both front legs, and then bring them over using your body to hold them and lay them down carefully. And don't forget to put your fingers in the nose, put your fingers in the mouth, put your fingers in the ears. From here, you can tap each foot. Good girl. Put your fingers under their tail, get them used to that, you grabbing their tail on their sheath or their little teats. Oh, she said, I don't want that one. But rubbing their little teats, oh, I know, I know. Be careful of the umbilicus, that can still be sensitive. Um, and you should be put, you know, you should always put betadine on it. Hers looks good though, so I'm not gonna put any more betadine on it. But, yeah. No, wait. And then when they're quiet, then you can let them up and I'll sometimes actually pick them up a little bit. Good girl. Just get that rope out of the way. So it's okay, I'll just take a nap. I was tired anyways, I'll take a nap. Okay, come on up, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, and then don't forget your butt rope. We're gonna go on an adventure now. We're gonna go on an adventure.